In this video I'm going to talk about the lateral shear test also called lateral displacement test for upper cervical spine instability due to ala ligament laxity or damage. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Upper cervical spine instability has a prevalence rate of 0.6% according to Beck et al. in the year 2004 and is associated with inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis as well as trauma and congenital deviations such as Down syndrome or Marfan's disease. In order to safely apply manual therapy techniques to the cervical area, it is necessary to screen for possible upper cervical instability. According to Catrice et al. in the year 1997, the lateral shear test has a kappa value of intra-rater reliability of 0.09 to 0.67, so poor to substantial, and an inter-rater reliability of minus 0.64 to 0.45, which is poor to moderate. For this reason, we are giving this test a weak clinical value in practice. In order to perform the test, have your patient in supine position and stand at the head of the bench. Place your index finger of one hand dorsolaterally against the arch of C2, while the other hand holds onto the patient's occiput and C1 from lateral on the opposite side. The patient's upper cervical spine is then brought into slight flexion in order to move the dents of C2 posteriorly from the anterior arch of the atlas. Then both hands are approximated to take up slack of the soft tissue and then the movement is judged on a degree of movement and end feel. In this case, we are testing the left transverse ligament on its integrity. Afterwards, repeat the test for the right side as well. This test is positive if a lateral translation occurs between the segments, which is usually absent in healthy subjects. Okay, this was our video on the lateral shear test for pre-manipulative testing of upper cervical spine instability. If you are curious about a test for the transverse ligament, check out our video on the upper cervical flexion test. Thanks a lot for watching. Please give this video a like if it was helpful to you or comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and activate the little bell icon next to it in order not to miss any new episodes. This was Kai for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.